Well, they look harmless enough. Herbal remedies, though, are touted as being safe. But as we're seeing time after time, looks can certainly be deceiving. In this KCAL 9 News Extra, Angie Crouch examines what could be an herbal danger. They're marketed as healthy, safe alternatives to illicit drugs, a legal way to get high. They have exotic names and alluring packages, magic mushroom pills for a mystical journey of the mind, liquid advantage for sexual potency, and tribal trance tablets for an Indian ecstasy experience. These so-called smart drugs are quickly becoming a multi-million dollar industry. And believe it or not, just about anyone can create one of these products. I'm licensed as an acupuncturist. To Medical Board of California and as a doctor of oriental medicine with the Medical Board of New Mexico. Don Posner created several herbal products on sale now at stores in Los Angeles. They claim to increase sexual potency and enhance energy and perception. He says it was easy. Well, first you have to find a pharmaceutical lab to do it. And then if you give them a formulation of herbs and those herbs are deemed safe by the FDA and they have a certain minimum, yeah, they'll do it for you. Mm -hmm. I mean, if you wanted to do a product, you could do one probably tomorrow. That's right. While the individual herbs inside these packages are approved by the FDA, the combinations of the herbs may not be. There are certain combinations that can, that can cause problems. Especially if the herbs are mixed with other drugs or alcohol, and no one is checking to make sure that what's on the label is really what's inside. Perhaps the most dramatic example of the labeling problem is this New Year's Eve rave party in downtown Los Angeles. Dozens of partiers collapsed after drinking from vials of a new designer drug that the distributor claimed contained only safe herbs. Lab tests later confirmed that the vials were mislabeled. They really contained a dangerous chemical compound found in antifreeze. If he could do it, couldn't you? Couldn't anyone else? Anything, anyone could stick anything in anything. Mm -hmm. You know, your water supply may be tainted for all that. We don't, you know, unless it's, until it's tested, we don't know. Um, most products, if the company is responsible, you know, say what is on the label. They have it independently tested, like I do. Um, and, and you've got to, to some degree, t trust the manufacturer and trust uh, the ingredient label. But LAPD narcotics detective Trinka Parada says no one is checking the labels on these products. Even the things that are neatly packaged and labeled don't tell us much of anything. Now we really know that just what it says doesn't mean it's safe and doesn't mean it's what it says it is. So mm -hmm. this kind of thing, we look at this and like, uh, call the FDA. It's their, it's their problem because we don't have um, the facilities or the setup to do it. And we can't do much about it if it's mislabeled. That's really their, mm -hmm. their forte. Mm -hmm. So um, we only react to it when we have to. The FDA had no comment on the labeling problem, but did say a committee is looking into the use of herbs that naturally produce a stimulant called ephedrine. The synthetic version of ephedrine is already controlled, but herbs like ma huang, found in many of these products, are not. The ma huang, their argument is that it's herbal, it's naturally occurring as opposed to artificial. It's not uh, synthetically produced. But ephedrine is ephedrine is ephedrine. The FDA says ephedrine can be harmful and is reported to contribute to chest pain, stroke, seizures, psychosis, and even death. Detective Parada says herbal stimulants may be safe if taken as directed, but too often they are not. Most of the people who take this stuff, they're not taking it to take it the way it's intended. They're taking it in multiple doses. They're taking it with other medications. And carelessly, if, if a little's good, a lot must be better. That seems to be human nature. It seems as long as humans look for an escape, someone will be there offering a way to help. And the government will be right behind them trying to keep up. Angie Crouch, KCAL 9 News. Now, we do want to stress most of these herbal drugs are safe. If you're interested in taking them but you're not sure, you can call your doctor or you can call the Poison Control Center. Carrie?